Hey guys, it's Michelle and I've got a lot to unpack today. I did a makeup video for a friend. I did um, a new new review on the new new fragrance. I did Izia Lanawi and I'm doing this one. I've been meaning to talk about this one for the longest time. And this is Korloff Majestic Tuberose. And you can find this on Fragrantica. Uh, I'm sorry, Fragrance X and Fragrance Net. And it's a pretty big bottle. I think it's a 50 ml. And I think I paid maybe 40 bucks for this. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous tuberose, of course, hence the name. It's an amber floral. Um, this was created in 2016. And it has notes of pink pepper, um, pink pepper, cardamom, and orange in the top. And it is niche quality and long lasting not a massive projector but people can smell it if you love tuberose you should get your nose on this um it's not the tuberose that you're typically used to i don't want to spray too much because i'm already wearing um something else this is more of a green fresh tuberose although it does have some sweetness it's not like armani my way or What's the others with tuberose? There's so many, right? It's not like that kind of tuberose. This one's a little bit more, like I say, niche quality. Um, that cardamom and the pink pepper, ooh, that combination is outstanding. And in this, in the mid, I do believe there's cloves and ylang ylang. And I can tell because I remember using an ylang ylang based deodorant when I was younger. And I can really, really smell the ylang ylang. Um, the cloves, not so much. Cloves tend to be quite overwhelming in fragrances for me. I think I only have a few with cloves in. Um, but I can't really tell the clove situation. However, um, in the base, there's patchouli, again, cashmere wood and sandalwood. Its dry down is gorgeous and amazing and I think that this is worth checking out I mean this house I would love to do more research and get some more fragrances from them um I love tuberose so I kind of wanted to try this one first and look at that bottle isn't that so pretty so pretty and it's so heavy um I wear this every so often and I'm like oh I should wear that more it's so beautiful um problems right when you have fragrances in your collection and yeah anyway this one I am like falling in love with it over and over again oftentimes I'll come in and I'll go through my fragrances and I'll spritz this one I've got a closet where my uh, perfumes live and I'll just spritz it on some random outfits that are hanging there and the next day I open it up and I'm like what is that beautiful smell and I remember it's the call of and I spritzed my clothing with it and it's dry down. I don't know, guys. This is like a sleep sleeper perfume. You guys need to get out and try it. Try this. And if you have any others, like let me know what they smell like because I'm so curious. This one is amazing. And if you like Kenzo World Power and what's that other one? Nuit de Tuberose by is it artisan perfumers the ones in the really nice octagonal bottles i think you will like this um i've smelled kenzo world power and it kind of reminds me a little bit of it but not as woodsy and salty this one's a bit more floral i think i've never smelled the artisan perfume before but i think you'll like this try it and let me know what you think because i think that this house is amazing. All right, guys, I hope I helped you and take care and have a great weekend.